Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collective podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Hi, welcome to TFLP episode 480. I'm Lucas. I'm live tonight. Monday, May 9th. I'm here I have no with... audio coming in. No audio for you guys? Well, there's probably audio on the show. Hold on. Gosh darn it. Oh boy. Hold on, guys. So the other people can't hear me, apparently. Uh, do, do, do. You guys can't hear me at all? Can you guys... Phil, can you hear me? Yeah. Hi. That's so weird. Here, Rob. Hey. I'm typing caps lock to Lucas in Messenger, so what's, hopefully he'll get the what's message. What's funny is, is that, like... Still can't hear you. I can... Right. Well, on the show, they can... Everyone else can hear me. Just you guys can. Like, literally no one can hear him. No, I'm looking, you I got guys YouTube, can't. YouTube chat. Oh, Ron <laughs> can hear Lucas and Phil, apparently. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see. Like I know what it is. It's the OBS stuff where like you have to be careful what in I think he's muted himself in Skype to try to stop the echo. That's not yeah. what you do. No, that's, that's not, not what you do that's at all. That's not what I did. Alright, so the audience can hear us. So I guess me, Peter, and Rob can have a conversation. And Lucas can just moderate the chat. Hello I mean, and welcome to TFYLP episode I don't know what the hell it is. I'm Peter Forever Destron. That's Rob. Hi. And there's Phil. Yeah. Can you guys hear me now? Maybe. Um, so uh, tonight, no. it's episode 5,971, um, and uh, I don't know what on earth we're talking about. We had like seven topics bounced around. I only heard one topic. Only one was brought to me, and it, it's how many impactors do we need? And the answer oh. is one. The answer is one, but it has to be I a good one. We haven't gotten there yet, so take it away. That's a pretty the, impactful question. The MMC one's fun. Uh, Very good. Like, like yeah, see. Can you guys hear me now? Like it's a good, solid figure. Is it as good as the no, iGear one that nothing. was canceled? I don't nothing. know. Because we never got it. Never got it. But <laughs> Poor Lucas. So I, I told him literally exactly what to do in Messenger. Like, I can see he still has himself muted in Skype. Peter Zalderon said you're Danhausen with that voice. I'm Dan. Evil. Very whatever. Yeah. That's a great compliment. Who's Danhausen? He's What's a wrestler. There? Why do you guys mute me in Skype? Hey. I don't understand. Hey. 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 So, hey, so they bad. could hear me on the show, right? Like, so everyone could hear me fine. It's just you guys couldn't. No, they couldn't. But, well, they could at times, and then at times they couldn't. I don't understand. I, I don't understand why it was like. How did I get muted in Skype? Oh no, sorry. No, they could hear everyone. That was Phil that said we can't hear you in right. the chat. Sorry. You couldn't hear. Like you guys couldn't hear me, but the rest of the people could. It's because oh, of OBS. Skype. Because no, your I, audio I is still coming through a difference. Oh, well, then I don't know what you're. But shit anyway, is. it's 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 <laughs> yeah, the same Rob. thing. It's whatever software that I'm using yeah. that somehow it muted me in Skype. Like I don't know why it muted me. Anyway, we've all had Skype issues. What Phil, you reinstalled. I think Rob got a new computer. And you had to reinstall. So it's good times. Rob just feels like instead of clearing his history and getting rid of all the viruses, every six months it's just safe to get a new computer. <laughs> actually, work actually bought me a new computer, and that was pretty dope because I got a really nice one. So nice, yeah. The caller that, 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 nice. that Phil laid out is exactly what my mother-in-law does. Once <laughs> just get too many updates and too many things going on, she just buys a new computer. So I'm sure, the salesman at Best Buy loves her. <laughs> So what's Maybe our topic? Put my kids through oh, college. Oh, we're supposed to have a topic tonight? Crap. 
The topic I saw was, do you need legacy in your collection? And the answer is no. So good night, everybody. No, no, we actually. Thanks for joining. No, we, um, we, no, that's not the topic. The topic is, how many impactors do we need? So that's after the announcement today, which I'm sure that Nick is extremely excited about. He has been complaining. Uh, Nick has been complaining that he does not get an impactor with a record symbol. And so he's. He's been waiting, 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 and, and here we go. Now, I think he's only had to buy, what, like three, four impactors before this. No, had to buy zero. Zero. Let, let's, let's. And, and in how many and instances did, rec, uh, did impactors show up with the Wreckers insignia ever in fiction? Also zero. Really? So, Not yeah. even like the IDW stuff? Like, I could see it not being there in the Marvel days, but. Well, certainly not there in the Marvel days. I don't really recall them using the Wreckers faction symbol in any of the fiction. It just kind of, of shows up on the toys. Outside of the 3H universe Wreckers botcon stuff, nope. Yeah. There you go. But you know what? We still need it. It doesn't matter. Like, new faction symbol. So. I, don't, I That figure was one of the earlier ones that was released when I stopped when I really started like kind of buying less and less Hasbro stuff and so when I see that I'm just like oh it's the big hollow leg one <laughs> you know like that's and Wait, that's just which, really all I can't which see past hollow it. leg one that's that's the thing that's hard to <laughs> at this point. At first I literally thought I was like is that a skids remote I'm like no wait the original impactor had that too never mind this is the third use of the hollow leg mold but also the third head which is cool you know, yeah. um, so we get slightly different deco, new head, slightly new chest plate, get a records insignia, which is cool for those who think that's important. Uh, didn't exist in Gen 1, so pfft, mileage may vary uh, in terms of what it counts as. Uh, it's all subjective, and it's still way too small to be impactor, so it's a total wash. Hey but, guys. but package art is important. And something we need to discuss, because not we only does Impactor did. come with Impactor and the new things that we outlined, he comes with spoiler, uh, retool of whatever fossilizer, and it's it's redone as a Spinosaurus in new Impactor colors, which is like more orangey than yellow with purple. And then the box art has, has an awesome Spinosaurus. Huh? Has an awesome Spinosaurus. And Emirate Zaron's legs in the background. And Behind you're supposed the awesome to build, stack the packages for a scene, and then we'll get a Zaron, which is something that I would be interested in if it doesn't suck ass. And I'm sure it'll be two thirds of what I want. And in four years, they'll re retool it to make it five sixths of what I want. The Emirate Zaron legs are weird. Like, why would that be on the package art? Is it going to be like the golden disc where there's just like a statue? There's, well, there's the bio cards for the golden disc, you know, and like, and they told a story, you know, it was, it was pointless and it means nothing, but it was kind of just a neat, a neat little thing. You know, it was fun, um, you know, for what, for what it's worth. And I wonder if, is Zaron just take part in there or are they test in the waters to try to do something with Zaron? And then also, why is he a mountain? He's not supposed to be mountain sized. He's not but. supposed to be mountain sized, but maybe it's it's like I don't know, just like uh, imagery, fun imagery of hey, we're all doing this for this guy who you know embodies Autobot resistance and values. Um, but so we're getting we're getting four other sets in this wreck and rule uh, exclusive line or whatever. Zaron's on the package somewhere somehow, and we've already seen retools, two retools in a single box coming out of this. So. Let's let's expand it a little bit and and start spitballing as to what we could see in this line. Iron well, Fist. We, we got a so, leak. It was actually on our Discord. Before before that, we do that real quick. So we also get a build a hammer as well. Did we mention that? We did not. So so in order to complete everything, not only like to complete the box art, obviously you have to get all of them, but you also to get the hammer. But I'm curious how big this hammer is going to be. Um, so, yeah. 
I'm going to wager a guess that we won't see any images of the hammer until Friday. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought I was missing something because I was like, "There's no pictures of the hammer or anything." I thought I was like, "Maybe that's just a spinosaur or whatever is one of the fossilizer things." I was like, "Maybe it combines into a hammer," or are they saying so? It's supposed to be spread out amongst all the packages. Is that what it is? So, are are, are we gonna get like? <laughs> Is that fossilizer somehow are going to be involved in fiction somewhere? <laughs> the bios. The bios. bios. Tell us that is... Spindle is a she, and she's the newest recruit to the Wreckers, and she becomes indestructible armor and weapons for uh, Impactor and the other Wreckers when they need it. Because this is the thing that's a little frustrating to me. I feel like, you know, once again, and obviously this is the strategy for Hasbro, is that, you know, we release random stuff with random stuff. So you have to buy the whole pack in order to get the stuff. Whereas, like, in the record pack, it'd be really cool. Like, there's a lot of records. So if you could, like, I don't know, do another retool or repaint and throw those two figures in, I'd be pretty excited, right? And I would want to get it now it's like gosh darn it like why do i have to get one of these fossilizers again in order to to get this pack i've already been down this path perfect pack in stuff would have been a rack and ruin or zaron because zaron can't transform and rack and ruin can no longer transform yep. so that way you piece them together and they're a fun action figure that you can blow apart you can have galvatron show up and fucking level them for funsies um or not you know whatever you can have everyone hug if you want but yeah, they're missing a, an opportunity here. Yeah, friendship. So what's the what's the leak list we got going on for these guys? Um, we got aside obviously from what we have, we got Leadfoot from Kingdom Mirage, uh, top spinning twin twist. So I assume would be the Titans Return figures, which are awesome. Right. You but don't is really that need be in the Diaclone colors that we've seen leaks of. This is all we have. Yeah. Um, Voyager Springer and Bulkhead reduc- redecos. Uh, so Bulkhead would be a new wrecker unless they're making it look like somebody else and giving it a new name. Well, he was the wrecker. He was wrecker in the Prime cartoon. In the Prime series, he was a wrecker. Oh, okay. Wheeljack. He and Wheeljack. So just, yeah. Got it. And then another fossilizer mammoth, whatever that is. Hey, the mammoth. That that mold was being bandied about at the beginnings of Kingdom, in terms of like, hey, there's a mammoth coming. Oh, and, really? And then no mammoth. Out. Amateur. Yeah, also a saber tooth tiger was shown in the uh, the the big mm. artwork with Polar Claw and uh, yeah, I forget who else was in there that never got made. Like I find it interesting that Bulkhead's in there because well, I guess Leadfoot as well. Maybe I don't know if G one Leadfoot was ever a wrecker like in Marvel. I don't. Leadfoot think... showed up as a wrecker in uh, Regeneration one, and then he showed oh. up when the wreckers were doing their thing during Stormbringer. I want to say or during the Stormbringer era. Uh, like the rest of those, especially with the Zeron on the box art, is very Marvel UK. This is where this came from, you know. And then, uh, but then again, you got Spinosaurus at the beginning, which is nobody. So, you know, on the, the Hasbro presentation, they're gonna be like, "Remember the Wreckers and how much fun they had palling around with the fossilizers throughout Gen One cartoons." Oh my God, we're really engaging you fans and your love for those Wreckers as they appeared in Season Seven of the cartoon, and we're ready to share that with you now. Presentation, it's like, you know, whatever they do, pull and shit out. Of you remember how much fun Sins of the Wreckers was with all the PTSD they all had? Those were good times. <laughs> Yay, PTS, yeah. I mean, I feel like we need Anna or Catherine, you know, popping in to tell us how fun the fossilizers are and, and what kind of weird figures that we can make out of these new ones. Uh, I've seen some the- fun pictures. Lucas, you're going to play the Anna and Catherine devil's advocate, like, let's enjoy the things role, and I appreciate right. the hell out of that. I do. Right. But I've seen some fun stuff on Twitter. They've, people have been taking the RCs from, someone has a, from waist to feet. Yep. RCs and fossilizers built as a big combiner thing, and whatever it turns out to be, I'm sure it's going to be great. Yeah, no, I'm in the or camp not. that I, I uh, fossilizers are fun. I like them. My son likes them. I'm on board for more fossilizers. So I, I think the only one I don't have is transmutate. Um, I've got all the rest, and uh, yeah, I, and even transmutate. Uh, even, I did. even Catherine doesn't like fossilizers. 
Um, Boom, Anna. I feel Wrecked. like Anna likes them more as a concept Record. than an actual the actual execution. We'll have to get clarification yeah. from Anna on this, but I'm pretty sure I don't think I've seen her playing around with them as much as as other things. So she again, likes them as the concept of being like zombie transformers. Yeah. And, like, I like the ones that are fun colors. Like, I think it's an interesting concept. I probably would get this whatever new one anyway, just with the with the fun colors. It just it annoys me it's in a Wreckers pack. That's really all it is. But I know what they're doing. Again, it's like they've, they've been doing this for a while now where they um, – I feel like especially Milk with some us. of these low-run exclusives that, like, trying to add in additional repaints – to like justify it like instead of charging us eighty dollars for a deluxe like fun pub used to do they're just throwing an extra figure in we use I mean, old. prices are made up so right. now i mean some people like new characters and a lot of people i don't know i think we're all or not i shouldn't say we all but a lot of us are hypocrites myself included because they're like i'm tired of optimus prime over and over like cool here's a new character spinal source that's stupid I don't know who that is. Why are you doing that, idiot? <laughs> Why didn't you give me another Optimus Prime? That's what I want, right? So, what well, is I acknowledge the, the hypocrisy. Yep. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Spinosaurus is by far and above my favorite dinosaur. I loved Demetrodon as a kid, and then I saw in a dinosaur book a Demetrodon that walked on two legs like a T-Rex. It's like if, if a T-Rex and a Demetrodon had a baby, that'd be a Spinosaurus. Throwing an alligator head. It's glorious. Yeah. And uh, I'm on board for it. If you put a gun to my head and said, say something positive about the set, like, I do love the color purple that they got on there. Like, I, I in general, I love, like, how... Isn't that who wrote the color purple? I have no idea. I don't know. I think, I think it was Alice Walker. Anyway. <clears throat> but, yeah, like, in general, I like the more gaudy color schemes anyways. Um but that's about it. It's it doesn't have a place in my collection. No, I, I think it's one of those things where, and I know Peter, you came to this uh, about a what a month or so ago, where you're like, all right, I need to stop being a completionist with this Hasbro stuff, and I feel like that Hasbro's doing their best to try to break me of that as well. well I mean, you're not a completionist anyway, though, Luke. It's like I feel like you buy almost everything when it comes out, but you don't keep it. Even then, uh, I mean, I've I've kept like of the Hasbro stuff. I pretty much, especially like this type of stuff, I've kept almost all. Like, of do you have all of Siege still? Yeah. Oh, I thought you got rid of a lot of that. They got replaced by the version you wanted nope. in Earthrise or whatever nope. or Kingdom. Okay, nope. I have it all. Like the only th there's a couple pieces I think from Power of the Primes that it just pissed me off and. Um, <laughs> I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think there might be there might be a couple things here or there, but for the most part I've begrudgingly like even the things where I'm like, I'm not gonna get this and then I kinda like go back, like Target will have a sale, they'll have a clearance on, on whatever exclusive and I'm like, okay. So yeah, I think I've at this point pretty much gotten it all. So switching back to the hammer for a second. Like, we don't know the details of that yet, right? Like, I'm not missing something. They said, get the hammer, buy the packs to build the hammer, but we haven't seen pictures. We don't know what it is yet. Is that correct? Well, no, we haven't seen pictures. We don't know what it is. But if they're including Bulkhead from Prime in the Wreckers assortment, then we can reasonably assume. I mean, the, the old Wreckers 3H logo had a hammer in the forehead. The mm -hmm. forehead crest and the nose were a hammer. And... Magnus was a wrecker in Prime, and he ran around with a hammer. And he had a big hammer. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I still have that figure. Yeah, me too. I never opened it. So it's an accessory, not a person, but I think it still fits in the very, very short list of kind of like build a figure ish stuff that Transformers has experienced. Unless, like, unless, unless there is a character called Hammer, and he is a multi part thing. So what if it's from the Constructor Squad MicroMaster Combiners? It's Sledge and Hammer, and you can combine them to make a big dump truck. They're bringing MicroMasters back, everybody! If it's called Ready Hammer, first. it needs to come with a baggy pants accessory. That's really all I care about. Please, so. Hammer, don't hurt him. 
<laughs> and that's why we pray. Shoes. Yeah, so like, what other build a figure, even build an accessory stuff that we got? There was obviously McAdam. Um, the Transmutate. Transmutate. Right, well, yeah, building? the 10th anniversary about- Transmutate. Are we building things like in this new legacy line, right? Like with the um, the building legends weapons. figures or core class or whatever. Yeah. Building the energon weapons. Yeah. 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 Oh. And I know. Yeah, like there's this sword from between Rodimus, Skywarp, and Iguanus. You can build a sword. A sword that's never shown up in fiction. And now that there's no legacy cartoon, it never will. No. Remember in Armada? Not that it would probably actually have shown up in the legacy cartoon, anyways. But you I, feel like it's genius. The sword. I, I feel like it's genius, though, that people like me, that I'll get, like, two of the figures, and I'll have half a hammer, and I'll be like, God damn it. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm going to get the rest of this hammer. I, I don't know that you can call it genius when it's a tired played book that is far from new or novel. It's been oh, done right. a billion oh, times. Right, 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 right. And, like, you were going to buy it anyways. You literally said that five minutes ago. So it wouldn't matter. <laughs> Like, remember Armada when, like, they gave you combining weapons from stuff, but it was just in one pack and you just bought the pack and then you had it? And then it showed up in the store, in the cartoon as well. Wasn't that cool? And it looked like it did in the package. So it's like, the the thing I have looks like the show I'm watching. Synergy. Not that synergy. A different synergy. Those were the days. I, I do, what, what I do I... love that we have like a bunch of forty year old guys complaining about how the good old days were better. Complaining <laughs> about how the good old days were Armada. Oh god, Armada was a Armada was a good time. Not the not the fiction. Cover your ears, Christian. <laughs> but, uh, or half the toys, or or three quarters of the toys for that matter. I liked the toys at the time, except for that one. Sideswipe. I think it's what it was. Hot shot. Or... No, so oh, Hotshot was, was the worst with yeah. his hips and his arms that did yeah. the thing. No, I liked Hotshot. I mean, like for their time, I thought they were they were good times. And you got a lot in there, you know. Like even I remember Aaron Archer. Ever since he brought it, he's like, he's like for like nine bucks, you got a deluxe toy, a mini con, and a comic. You know, like and then they were obviously the luxes back then were almost the size of Voyagers today. Um, you know, like times have changed. You know, that's how it goes. But following yeah, following our ID and Caro bought it felt like a step down. I we can see from, that. We went from like super they fire convoy kiddie. to like bazooka. <laughs> yeah, they they looked like oversized Happy Meal toys. They probably still have more parts than today's deluxes, though. Hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna Maybe wait Destron for someone calls to... anything that she doesn't like a Happy Meal toy. She's like, what the hell is that Happy Meal shit you're dealing with today? It's like a fan's toy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's I, I good. Just spent it was like two hundred fifty dollars. Don't call it that. It's an adult collectible. You're hurting his feelings and mine. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep with it on the couch. No, no, no. I'll sleep with it in the bed. You can sleep on the couch. <laughs> unicron what is shell. That? Oh, that's a unicron. Yeah, that's garbage. I... I assume it's a custom that yeah. he may or may never complete. No. I, uh, I mean, it was part. I ripped out parts for a custom. Then the boy had a Unicron, and he needed a knee joint. So now he took this one's knee joints. So now this one does this. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's like uh, that Perceptor figure that Phil loves. <laughs> but he took it apart himself, and like he's like, "Can I have that knee joint?" I was like, "Yeah," and he's like, "Okay," and he took it and did it by himself, and we're good to go. So very happy there. Nice. Am I the only one that wants to see Transformers make a record character whose name is Ralph? <laughs> yes, you are. All right. But you could spell it like the way like a vomit or like your Ralphine is spelled. You know. I think that's still just Ralph. Is it? Is it the same way? I yeah, know. I think so. Are we sure All that right. there's not like a bot bot that's named Ralph? I feel like we need Christian on to confirm this. Yeah. Yeah. I'll look at TF like Wiki. Series, series Ralph. seven, series, series there, seven of Bob there, there, it, there are story. Ralphs, but they're humans in like the G one cartoon. Mm. There was a Bot Bot who did vomit a lot in the cartoon. There you go. And he was a judge. It was weird. Bot Bots with that deep social commentary, political mm-hmm. opinions. Mm-hmm. 
That's right. The statement, y'all. Have you watched the whole show, Rob? You missed that episode. I haven't watched any of it. I, oh, I, I caught up. I watched. I caught up on the stuff I'd missed uh, the past couple of weeks, so I'm up yeah. to date ish. Yeah. There you go. There you go. But no, I didn't. I haven't watched it. I'm probably not going to. Yeah. Most importantly, he caught up on TFYLP, which is what everyone should catch up on week yeah. to week here on TFTalk.net. Yeah. And for those of you who Absolutely. haven't, what's your excuse? Why do you hate us? Absolutely. Just why do you hate yourself? You know, this is take care of yourself and listen to this show at least multiple times. Get your friends to listen to it. You know, Sometimes smash it that like off. button. If you're not taking this podcast, Recording it onto a tape to give to your mom for Mother's Day. What kind of <laughs> child are you? Tape. TFLP mixtape for Mother's mm. Day. <laughs> so, I'm going to bring it back to toys for a second. Um, oh, that's no fun. I know. I'm sorry, guys. Is Has that impactor mold been used for anything but impactor? Uh, I don't think so. No. But... We wanted it to be Quake or Bludgeon with a retool or something, but no. I find that odd that, you know, Impactor at least was a pretty niche character. And now, like, it's, I feel like if this keeps trend keeps going, like, it's going to start giving that Megatron mold a run for its money. On how many times can this be, mold be repainted into the exact same character? <laughs> you know, like, not doing anything new with it, not doing anything interesting. Just, it's another Impactor. The hues are a little different this time, you know, and maybe a new head or whatever it is. Um, I don't. Know, I just different purple. It just it kind of goes makes me think again of like the Metroplex Titan, or let's repaint it into Metroplex still. And it, how about what well, we repaint it again into like another Metroplex that looks basically the same, cool bean style. Let's do it. Um, I don't know. I'm just. I find that surprising. Impactor is sort of like the reverse of Windblade, where he's a character that was a fan favorite that, that was created years ago and that has been now gotten to the point of oversaturation versus Windblade started as an oversaturated character that we've kind of grown to like. Yeah. Um, no argument. Springer is another one where they haven't reused that mold too. So we'll just get re a repainted Springer again. Although I feel like it needs it. I'm excited to see what they come up with for this just because I actually like that mold. It's just, you know, the, the greens are a little bit off and I don't like the space mud. So maybe this one will just completely yeah. release it the same, except for it just won't have space mud. I'd be fine with that. I'd be I'd be okay with that. I was surprised that we didn't see him show up in any other capacity between three Studio years ago 86. and now. Like I expected to show up there, you know, without space mud, but in the Autobot City battle pack or whatever with dead wind charger. It's wind charger. He's just dead, and then we'll get the regular colored one in four years. So Ron was saying, knock the Metroplex, but people are still paying five hundred or six hundred for it. You know, I feel like that people are paying crazy money for all of the Titan class figures. It's it's so nuts. For everything, period. Well, for everything, that's true. But... I mean, Metroplex makes... I sold mine, I think, a year and a half ago. And now, you know, air quotes, only got like, I think, 350 for it or something. I mean, that was the price at the time, right? And that's just... That's how much it's gone up since then. And I think... Especially since then, that's like, well, now you got Black Zarek and Scorponok, you know, and they did Omega Supreme. It's like, you have all the old city bots now, and people really still need a Metro, you know, or feel like they need a Metroplex to complete that line. I think it's driven demand by having all the rest of them, and they were all pretty easily available. Because, like, Scorponok got ran multiple times, um, you know, for everyone to get it. And it's, it's just like, well, that's still the gap, you know. And Metroplex was also before they, like had landed on, oh, hey, these should just be G1 with some more gribbly bits. It, you know, Metroplex is pretty different aesthetically looking. Um, yeah, you're still in that thrilling 30. We're just going to do, you know, new new takes on people. And look, it, it's the guy. It's the guy. It's clearly the guy or gal. But I, I didn't mind that. I didn't, I don't know. I didn't mind oh, it I at still the time. Love, he's great. He's great. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. At I the mean, time, it was because it was huge. And, you know, and we got this, what... 
I think that sticker set took like an hour to put on, hour and a half oh, or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like it was a brand new experience. But then since then, they've, you know, refined the formula like, oh, screw the sticker sheets. And let's just go back to more and more G1 ish because that's what people really wanted, anyways. But, you know, that was the first Titan we got. You know, they, they were figuring it out. Mm-hmm. Now they figured it out. I never put all the stickers on my Predaking. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't buy that one. But I hated the, that era of stickers. Was just so horrible. So they I were just, paper oh, thin. And well, Metroplex so stickers were all right, weren't they? No, I don't remember the, them being a problem. They were. I think I I got the uh, toy hack stickers though myself. But. Okay. The, like, the yeah. By the time we got to the Power of the Prime stickers, the foil garbage. Yeah, they were just dog shit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm the guy that has like two hundred dollars of upgrades on my Metroplex. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you should, now you can sell that one for eight hundred dollars. Then yeah, that's true. Yep. I will say the most recent um, release of uh, Toy Hacks Repro labels look really nice. I mean, there's a there's a Studio Series Perceptor set that that really amplifies that toy, and I'm I'm tempted to get it. So I don't know. It's it's do I spend more money on a toy that I'm not happy with, or sell a toy that I'm not happy with? I'm I'm debating that. So, is it the only I've perceptor got, you have? Oh no, I've got Tesla 2.0 as well. Okay. Um. So it's like, I love, yeah, I those, love those, it's those like fit different n- niches. There, right. those are pretty different. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I love how um, Phil's debating. It's like, do I keep do I keep fans toys Tesla? Or do I keep the Hasbro? Oh one no, I'm keeping fans really toys like. Tesla. That's not even question. Oh, okay. okay. The question is. Because, like, I, I don't know, I'm basically one of those collectors that has, like, two scales of toys. I've got the MP-scaled stuff and the, and the mainline-scaled stuff. And, and, you know, do I... Mean, I if you want both I... scales, like, I think you keep the Perceptor then. Because, you know, that's the first real, like, G1-styled Perceptor, you know, we've gotten in and, and the mainline. And I don't... I think at most you would get is a similar repaint out of it, right? Or a rerun of it for some excuse, you know, maybe with like an yeah. IDW head or something, and maybe they fix the janky hips that you don't like or whatever. Uh, you know, with that release or tighten it up, or I don't know if you can just drop some nail polish in it and tighten it up yourself. I don't. I, I, I don't know I why don't it's mind loose, but the, the hips like he stands well. It's just he just moves funky as you're transforming them or, or posing them around. I mean, to me, it's it's like all right. What's one of my favorite all time things of Transformers? It's the '86 movie. Obviously, the mainline Studio Series wave is going to give us the most complete. 86 movie cast so so because of that i, I think i will keep them and, and probably will decide to upgrade them with some toy hacks i mean if I, a better version like comes if, out it's going to be a while yeah well i, I was going to say year, that, in a buzzworthy line but I, it won't be a new mold is, is the difference no, like your, your be beef with it won't be cured see so you can get the toy version that's going to come out here in a year or two and then you can get the slightly better decoed, um, you know, movie version. So it'll be perfect. And then next year they'll do another Wreckers wave, and they'll include Perceptor with his Wreckers IDW head and a, uh, a sniper rifle. Yeah. And did Perceptor get scary? Roach just decided to make him a badass. No, Instead that's a line just... from the. Oh, I was quoting sorry. the comic. Yeah. It's one of the few lines I remember. I knew that. I knew totes. That. Totes. We fell for it. He tricked us. He tricked us. He made us think he didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> I find... Not some filthy casual. <laughs> it, but it, it definitely amuses me that, like, Impactor got his uni- own unique mold, and he's about to get the third repaint of it into Impactor again. Fourth repaint. Um, third repaint, fourth oh, toy. Oh, yes. Sorry. Fourth toy. Yeah. Oh, I, right, right, right. I meant it the other way. I, I thought there was only three total, but if there's four, okay. There's, there's, the four, Netflix there's one. four total. Yeah. Okay. The Walmart, um, Netflix, um, and then yeah, the box you know, set. I don't remember that one, Rob. Come on. <sighs> Sorry. There's another but, Impactor toy, you guys. But it's it amuses me when, like, we've gotten more Impactors than I'm sure some mainline characters. Like, you know, how many cliff jumpers recently have we gotten? You know, there was the one. Um, Maybe it's been repainted to get a repaint. I think. Mm-hmm. Well, if but, you, are you are you counting the mold use or are you counting the character? I don't know, man. It's just one of those words. Mold use. I think there's been like how many of those? Twelve. 
Peter. Oh, because it's, it's using it for different things. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, but I like, just mainly meant the character. It's just like here's a bunch character. of Impactor, you know, and then so, so the character. This is what six toy. So you've got the ruination. Not yeah, it was it the ruination combiner, the wrecker combiner that was the remold of onslaught um, from uh, War for Cyberfall Cyber Cybertron. Yeah. Um, and then you got the BotCon, which was the repaint and remold of Rook. Um, and then now you've got He's four. this set of four. So so this is six. You know, and I don't count the BotCon in this either, because like that's BotCon's purpose. You know, Fun Pub's purpose was to give the oddball collector stuff. I would expect it to proliferate there. But it's just interesting that in the main line to get that many of it, like I realized at one point I I have several wing things. Like, you know, Wing Thing used to not exist, basically. And now there's a gajillion of them. And it's like, it almost makes the novelty wear off. Um, you know, it's just it's just kind of odd. You know, it's like, I got more, way more Wing Things than Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw is now the niche character that n- almost never gets a toy comparatively. Um, you know, it's not to say never. You know, yeah, there's been some stuff. But, um, you know, the niche stuff is just gets done more. And I don't know if it's just when they like, hey, something like this set here is going to be, you know, a lower run it's a you know the amazon pulse exclusive thing and this and that's so like well we got to do niche characters in there and it just makes it where we get a lot more of the you know more of the the corners of the of the franchise instead of like the main line which isn't bad because i mean impactor impactor cool you know but this comes back in- to like what we were talking about with peter a few weeks ago was peter was saying how he was sort of ebbing out in the collecting but then it's like, oh, if they start doing more of these niche characters, I, I might be tempted to grab some. Now, granted, Impactor is a niche character that they've done multiple times. If only so we had Peter on to discuss. To... Yeah, but you can't trust Peter the things that he says. So it, we're talking about all this Impactor stuff, and yeah, it's great. Yeah, I love the character. Yeah, I've loved him since I was reading him in Marvel UK back in you know a million years ago when I was a little baby Destron. But MMC Spartan is better than any of the Hasbro versions that we've gotten or, or the Fun Pop one or whatever. So it's like, oh, a new Impactor with a new head and the new whatever and a new symbol and it's great. And pfft, doesn't yeah, replace it, it the pales. good one. Because it's what, like, nowadays it's like, okay, here's your $25 deluxe and then you're going to want to buy, you know, the $15 leg filler kit for it. And it's like the $8 then, sticker set. And the sticker set and the insignia is still going to be wrong and you're still going to want to buy hook upgrades or whatever and you're just going to be like what are you doing man just do it you know what you want and they have to buy a new leg filler kit for the new uh, impactor that where the orange is slightly different colors so then I have to get the one that like matches that right so I have to kind of do this all again and if you get the non-F kit it comes with these fillers with this panel, panel that moves or whatever and if you get this kit then it's like not quite resin but it doesn't feel like that, like that printed look to it so you're just like eh. so you have to buy two or three different kits and combine them to get a passable thing well and then you pay your buddy to customize a paint on one for you because you like the head on one but the purple isn't quite right so yeah you I mean you pretty much have to at that point right you might as well you're in, in that deep so yeah no turn it back now Third so. impact. Oh, I think it's cool that they're doing a record set. You know, like, can we even call records niche anymore? Like, yeah, my neighbor that I ended up talking to about Optimus Prime the other day, no idea what it is. You know, he was, you know, his words are like, like, oh, you remember when they used to be die cat or they used to be metal? They were so cool. All metal. And, and it's like, that's cliche, but it's also very accurate, you know, for somebody that just, you know, Played with them for a year or two as a kid, and that's all they remember. Um, I so, like, records is still what the hell is that to them? But I feel like m- almost anybody buying any of this stuff, like, records are pretty well known now. And yeah, records was- are well known. They're the NASCAR guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I keep forgetting about that. Good. Well, except Leadfoot's and there. and Leadfoot's there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's. I don't know. Everything um, old is new again, I guess. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, Wreckers have had prominent places in Transformers fiction. 
obviously one of the more popular books that's come out in the Transformers uh, comic book world in the last 10, 20 years is a Wreckers book. Um, you know, like we said, they were in, you know, mentioned in the movie. They, um, you know, had prominent promotions for that movie, even though they were barely in the movie. Um, and then uh, you had, you know, like we said, Transformers Prime had Bulkhead and Wheeljack and uh, and Ultra Magnus as part of the Wreckers team. So you've you've had the Wreckers around in mainstream uh, media for Transformers for what are we talking fifteen years now. I'm surprised that like, I haven't watched Cyberverse, but it feels like something that would have been right in line with Cyberverse's kind of shtick as well from what I've heard y'all talk about it. Like that they could have totally done a, you know, it probably would have been a pretty eclectic group and, you know, probably pretty original, but that they didn't throw records out there at some point. No. And th- they had never had impact during that show. Right, Peter. Okay. Um, no. But it would have fit like, like to Rob's point. I think yeah. they could have just like done an episode where it's like the wacky adventures of the records in space. Doing yeah. Whatever. Yeah, no, you you would definitely. I mean, it wouldn't have been as like you know, um, it, it would have been more Bad Batch than than what we've seen from the records and like in the comics. Um, you know, they're not going to slaughter a bunch of captured Decepticon prisoners in Cyberverse, um, but uh, yeah, they, they could have made some fun adventures with them. I think for me, it. And again, though this is a Rob thing. This isn't a, a fandom or like whatever. But you know, it's definitely me that like a lot of what Hasbro does these days. Not all of it, but it feels like a little, little of it's too little, too late. It's like that itch is already scratched. And because I've been collecting long enough, it's like already that itch is already scratched and I already have it. I know there's always new fans coming in, and some of them, right? I mean, that's they don't the have an impact for us, you know? Right? Yeah. Hmm. But like ten years ago, if you'd have said, "Dude, Hasbro's doing like." an exclusive set of the records like really? you know you know i lost my shit um to where at this point it's just like five five sets that you can order from amazon each one drop it in consecutive days and be like what i just yeah. have to like point my mouse and click at a button like five days in a row and it can have all these dudes hell yeah at way better prices than thumb pub prices yeah with that like it's basically a retail price and I might not get like my credit card number stolen. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think we are spoiled at this point as, as fans. There isn't um, much that hasn't been done, except the G-Axis that's finally coming out. Oh my god! I know we need a, we need a better episode, but... Right, but that's that, Peter. To your point, it's like now there's so many characters that we like. Yeah, I have one. I want a better one, which is kind of points to the as being a bit spoiled. They need to make a set of, of human characters called the Spoilers, and it's just <laughs> us. It's just the TFYLP cast. <laughs> yeah, baby I, I do love that there's answers. probably some like newer fans that have only been collecting since like you know the new series, or or even maybe like the uh, War for Cybertron trilogy, and they're really excited for this release. You know, compared to us, where you know we're like, oh. I remember back when I got the Fun Pub Impactor. Like, that's my Impactor, just whatever, you know. Oh, uh, Enots br- brings up a good point. I, I forgot about this. Cyberverse had Wreck and Ruin. Yeah. And Whirl. Yeah. They're, I mean, they're the char- some of the characters are there. Yeah. They weren't as Wreckers, but... but they weren't. Yeah, they weren't. I mean, Wreck and Ruin is... I feel like that's a pretty deep cut. I mean, I know oh, yeah. what it is. But, it you know, great. like... How many people read Marvel UK? You, you know, that... I, uh, obviously us but you know it's pretty niche for a character that's he's probably in what like maybe five issues or something i don't know total like a I, dozen I, oh I okay do think it's we're not interesting thought. now that they're going back and homaging some of the marvel runs on stuff with g-axis and uh you know with like this new impactor like the look of him that instead of you know it, you know going after the newer idw look that they're like, oh, hey, like, let's go back to Marvel. Maybe some people might like that. Fiction people cared about. Zombie Impactor. Next use of the mold. Oh, there you go. You get half the plastic for twice the price. That sounds like too much remolding. Sorry. They're just going to dip half of it in black paint. 
And up okay. there, close enough. Super space mud. <laughs> I was really surprised that that reformatting Galvatron wasn't like translucent plastic with paint app or something like that. So if they did a zombie impactor, I think it would be not what we would think because of, I'm basing it on one thing alone. So maybe it could come with a Trypticon as an add-on. Like the bonus figure is Trypticon. <laughs> Makes sense. So, it so does. It's, it. It, it's a reference. <laughs> Reminds me of like when I uh, I bought the uh, Batman animated series Batcave, and it's like I got Alfred, and it came with this bonus playset thing or whatever. But I got Alfred, <laughs> you know that's why I bought it. <laughs> they did that with the uh, Motu Classics too. You, you you bought Orko, and the bonus piece was Prince Adam, and he was like <laughs> Orko was in this giant package, and Prince Adam was like wedged awkwardly behind the blister <laughs> card. <laughs> that's funny. That's great. You know, like, but this also, you know, you talked about how you want a new Straxus. You know, to me, that's a perfect point. Like, this isn't the only time Hasbro has done weird cuts. They just do them more and more frequently now. Like, right. I mean, I, I kind of lost my mind when they did Straxus. It's the fact that it even happened. A unique mold, not tied to anything, and it only got repainted uh, once by Hasbro. You know, the Skullgirl. And, and yeah. he was a decent toy at the time. Again, that that sort of. I still like the toy. Yeah. I mean, that, that chest is very iconic, and it's very correct. Yeah. And the head, the, so. the the pickaxe sort of uh, accessory there. Um, I, I mean, for that time, that was a really solid toy. Yeah. Um, and again, that was when they were doing the kind of the reimaginings of the the vehicles before they're like, we're just going to give these jerks what they want is which is just this straight reproduction of their youth let's do g-axis but make it orange i want to figure out whoever did that and curse us with that for like a decade and i want well, to slap no, them in the back from of the that head. that jet storm redeco that beast machines jet storm yeah. redeco the kb someone said oh, it was just a random name thrown on it, was, it then and they just threw the name on it and then someone said let's homage that <laughs> that's what people fans want, want. Yes. and then was, in one of the idw comics it was even that version you know, I just remember being like some hunched over evil scientist kind of gremlin. <laughs> I just thought yeah. it was, I hated it. <laughs> he was like faking being stupid or whatever. And then, yeah. And then like to, to, to have the corporate synergy coming back around to that, they, they said he had like this, this uh, armor or something. Reactive. That would, yeah. Mimic his opponent. So that's why he looked just like Armada Starscream. Because Starscream had just gotten a new body in the comics to match his Armada look, just like the toy that was coming out. And so then Jaxus was mimicking him, and it's like, ah, I'm sure the writers love putting that in the book. <laughs> yeah. Gross. So, oh, man, is I, it... just, I just noticed I went on Hasbro Pulse just now, and apparently uh, it's sold out. So I can't even order this thing. You can get through Amazon. Yeah, well, it's, it was sold out on Pulse a while back, but it's been on so Amazon. The, the reason was is because Josh in the chat was asking uh, what we think the impact are standing on the promo photos. That is interesting. What What is that? It's Scorpinox Claws or Oh, whatever. is it? Oh, I gotcha. Okay, got yeah. it. Never they were mind. looking at that on Twitter. Uh, oh, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, now that I'm seeing it, I was looking on my phone. So, there we go. Well, now I'm Does that mean that there's going to be a Scorponok build a figure or extra claws or? Uh... So wait, so no, now I get mean... if if I do order this, I get to order off of Amazon, right? And they'll like they'll just take the package, they'll throw a uh, sticker on it, and then I can complain in however many months on the TFLP in the future about how Amazon's crappy packaging or whatever, like, and they'll just throw it on the porch and break it. Hey. Just think of it as it's like your exclusive toy now with extra, like somebody impacted upon it, the repressed, like daddy issues. So, Battle you know, they, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's mental scarring now on your package. So, yes. So, yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, luckily, I think just... luckily, thank God it's still available on Amazon. Thanks, Ron. Appreciate it. I I was really worried there for a second. I mean, this kind of tails into though something that we were talking about a few weeks ago, and we had the, the short episode when the audio wasn't working. We started really late. 
which is just like what what is a what is a good repaint recolor remold and what's one that's annoying and this one seems to be in the into the category of you know fairly annoying i I feel like if it didn't have the hammer if it didn't have like the hammer parts or whatever i think a lot of people would have bell on it like if they say hey we want to do a wrecker set and you have an impactor mold it kind of makes sense that you would put impactor out again Right, but if they didn't have the hammer thing, a lot of people are like, well, I already got Impactor. I don't care about spiny, whatever. I'll skip that part of it, and I'll get but the this, rest of them. This says that Dan Reed had. It's Dan Reed, I think, who did that art for his face. But then there's people who were like, well, that's cool. I kind of want this because I want that homage, but I don't want a, a weaponizer, fossilizer character, and, and I don't want to have to pay for that. Um. I mean, you know, yeah. Pay for it and you'll like it. Shut up. Buy my toy now. So, I I don't know. I think there's lots of reasons to find a repaint, recolor, remold, annoying. To me, this is one that I think a lot of folks would skip. The the folks who might like it might be pissed that they have to buy something else to get it. But this is also the first in a set of five, and it might be the worst one first. We might be getting way cool stuff down the road in a day after a day after day. I don't know. I feel like we looked at the list. We know what's coming. I don't know. If the lead foot is G1 colored, that could be interesting. It's going to be you know, based it's on gonna the be Michael Bay. It's going to be Michael no, Bay it's colored, though. Bay. It's going to be from Regeneration once to be the Gen 2 figure. Michael Bay. It's going to have the Target logo on it or something. Isn't that well, Lead Foot? Is that what Foot was? Yeah, Lead Foot was the beard with the Target logo and the belly. The, it'll be the Target logo, but it'll be broken. Since they, you know, it's not a Target exclusive anymore. Yeah. Man, I, I would lose my shit if that's what they did. That'd be great. I hope it happens so bad. I hope it happens so much. Some people just want to see the world burn. So, Rob doesn't care anyway, because you're not getting any of it, right? No, no. <laughs> Pretty much. I wonder how much more of these sets like this will do, because everything from the Golden Disc set, except Pterosaur, is still available. You know, which is like, I don't know if Amazon really clearances action figures or whatever. They do. But if they don't, yeah. okay. Like, they do, yeah. then someone immediately buys up the entire stock and then sells it for triple the price. Because they're the right. only game in town. Are we, sh- are we sure? Like, who would do something like that, Peter? <clears throat> yeah, like, I, given how poorly I felt... It looked to me like that set went, you know, because some of that stuff's been out for months and it's still sitting there in Amazon's warehouse, except for Pterosaur. But um, not a lot of people were pining for Tiger Tron or, you know, like, no. And I'm, yeah, and I Prowler. I'm kind of curious on some of those sets because the earlier ones uh, that they did, um, like the, what was it, the Prowl, like where, they were the one that had the Prowl and Ironhide set and I think that they mm-hmm. have another one. That like immediately sold out on like, Dirge some and other, Yeah, that the, they had some of those. So I'm I'm kind of curious, like, how do they get to pick those sets? I wonder. I don't know. I mean, even if the Golden Disc set did poorly, I still really liked the character selection. Like, I didn't like I bought Jackpot. Um, like I didn't buy Ranger and Puffer, but I thought that was cool. Yeah, Jackpot's head sucked. I don't know what the, how they did that so wrong. But, like, I thought that was cool. Doing a Night Prowler, I thought that was cool. I was like, did I need it? No. But, you know, it's... I kind of think of this stuff as... It's the replacement for BotCon toys we'll never get again. You know, and Fun Pub, Collector Club toys we'll never get again. And for that, it's... It's stuff that is defined. And it's a way to get it. And it's it's nerdy. And I like nerdy stuff, even if I'm not buying it. But I think, Rob, you bring up a good point about that you didn't buy a bunch of those... And that's one of the things about when you get to the real niche end of uh, uh, of uh, a toy catalog, you're going to have a good chunk of the fan base is like, this is a little too niche for me. Or, this is not the niche that I enjoy. So, you know, all right. Like, so which lead foot are they going to do? Are they going to do the one that's painted like the the probably more well-known one, the, the Michael Bay, you know, target race car at this point? Or will it be the yellow and blue one? which is lesser known, but for the hardcore fan base would probably be more in demand. And it's just, you know, it's, it's, and then you're going to have a lot of people are going to be like, Leadfoot, I don't know, let me, let me look this up. 
I don't remember. Either way, they is. won't care. It's a lot of people. They're like, right. I'm not buying it either way. They're going to yeah. look at it and be like, wait, Leadfoot? I thought he was a power master. Wait, who's Leadfoot? What's a power master? I don't know what's going on. I see an F1 car. Why is this not Mirage? Wait, Led's was Mirage? bad for children. Huh? Why would they do that? Lead's bad for children. Wait, is he yeah, a They made a toy out of it. Tasty. Hmm? Isn't he no one remembers that. No one remembers that at all. I remember power core combiners. I have all of them. I only have the not Huffer one. Or maybe it is called Huffer? I can't remember. But it was, okay. That's the only one. Well, Are you going to sell some of that stuff one? off? What are you saying? You get you guys you take my words so seriously. Are you, are, I, are you actually I, going to sell anything or no? Like are you just are you knows? not gonna buy it's, things? What are we the, No, I, no, you, you saw it all right, all right, maybe um I'm over reading into this, but I feel like I saw a twinkle in Peter's eyes when he was talking about the uh power core combiners. The, those are Those are well loved. They're they're not well loved by a bunch of folks, but I, I still have a soft spot for them. I thought they were fine. Yeah. I mean, like, if we were talking about, like, Bumblebee movie merch and Michael Bay everything, yeah, see, that's when you get the faces from Peter. Yeah. That's the stuff I think one day he will sell. Power Core Combiners? No. He likes Power Core Combiners. Yeah, he likes Machine Robo. Me. You know? Oh, God, oh you Machine guys, Robo. Guys. Oh, so much good stuff. So much good stuff has arrived. Is that Maybe that's the next five set on Amazon is a GoBots homage set, which, you know. Ooh, I would be happy with that. I would probably buy that. There's a lot of GoBots love in the movie lines, in the sidebar movie lines. I still got Fracture. Was that the only one? Did we say a lot of love and there's only one? There's like Super Cooper got some love. They didn't call him Super Cooper, but if you look at the the weirdo repaint guys, yeah, there there are a few GoBots in there. That'd be fun. I know for a while a lot of people... You could argue um, that Jetfire is a a GoBots homage. It's Snoop. It's Super Snoop. I know for a while on like the BotCon forms, other than like an actual G2 G axis, which is what I wrote every year, um, <laughs> I know a lot of people wrote GoBots homages, and I know they tossed that around as well at times of like doing a GoBot theme set. Which you know the way FunPub did it, which means they'd say it's a GoBot theme set, and there'd be like three GoBot toys, and then like some G1 homages, and then a Diaclone homage, and then a Michael Bay homage, and then they'd say it's a GoBot set. It didn't sell well. Stuff newer people will not understand <laughs> at all. Um, Impactor, so yeah, we're 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 spoiled for riches at this point, and and we're we're salty collectors that have been in this game so long that you know we we've, we've we've lived long enough to to become the villain. That's at least the second Dark Knight quote you've given tonight and i'm all about it wait the second one was my first one i don't remember but you said it I was it promise. that like moment in the show when like for five minutes i just kept going i'm batman, I'm batman. <laughs> you might want to see a doctor i don't think that happened I'm batman. <laughs> i watched batman and robin last night does that, does that count? can i be in the club can i be Where, i saw nipples on, like, i saw nipples Knicks... and butts was this on like Nick's pain list or whatever? No, it was. Well, I mean, it was on. It was Red Letter Media, which is, yeah. They do. Ah. Stuff. Uh, I would know. Like, I'm not salty for what it's worth. It's just if you know people that have been collecting for a while, it's and that are in the late stage Transformerism, you know, fr- phrase that uh, Paul coined. Like, a lot of my needs are met, and it's like. The stuff I'm still buying is masterpiece and third party masterpiece fill in stuff and like some niche stuff that Hasbro does I'll pick up because I they tickle my fancy for whatever reason and that's just kind of where I live. But I'm not mad about it. I think it's one of the best times to be a collector, except for if you haven't been doing it the whole time. Because now you're screwed. And you're like, Hey, you know what? I would like that Titan Metroplex. Well, go pay five times retail for it. <laughs> right? You know, or if you wanted such and such anything that's already come out and that's what is good about sets like this you know like if you didn't get the springer here's another chance to get it if you didn't get the impactor here's another chance to get it um and you know, know so that's I mean, that's I good like, but i feel like most of these are are good for most people again people that are like late in the game 
they want another homage, whatever it may be. Uh, but unfortunately, people like me who have not broken their the issues that they have, that they're like, oh, this is slightly nicer. It has a new hat. I need to I need to go ahead and spend forty five dollars on on the set in order to get the slightly nicer impactor. And I realize this is a me issue. It's not a Hasbro issue. Um, well, it's not just so, a you issue. Right. It's a lot of collectors, but it is definitely a you all issue. Right. Quit hitting yourself. Here Quit caring about the pink hat. It'll be all right. right. Unless you enjoy it. Like I've gotten to where with the masterpiece stuff, I embrace the upgrade now. Um, yeah. You know, there, there's a limit, you know, and like we got two third party perceptor masterpieces and I was like, well, which one do I think looks better? And uh, I went with tra- X Transbots, which is also $100 cheaper, which was nice. Um, but, you know, I'm happy. And, like, I just got, you know, DS Blaster. I decided to, to go for him. I still really like the KFC toy. It's a really good toy. Um, but, you know, this was a little more in that vein. And also KFC's also, that one's been around a long time. So something new, and it's more aesthetically in line. So, I mean, it, but that's a far cry from, oh, they reissued the figure that came out last year with less space mud. Like, like that, that would definitely get grading. But I think at that point, I would just learn to be like, I'm good with it. Or just don't buy it when it comes I'm, out and I'm wait just, for the better version later. I, I'm just having a hard time with that. And I think the other thing, too, is, is like for you, like, you know, you might have one new third party release every two months. Right. And so it's like kind of a treat. You're like, oh, this is cool. Like this is upgrading a figure that's like six years old. Um, but then I mean, we're getting you know, we're getting tons of mostly new stuff for what it's worth. Yeah. Like, you know, I got. Skull Cruncher and, you know, the riding sets coming out right now. It's kind of one of the bigger things, you know, so it's mostly new stuff. Takara has been treading a lot of familiar ground, but mm-hmm. like they're also so late to the game that it's like Trailbaker came out. The tiny little flip foam image that someone took uh, looks promising, but I'm also like, I really like my ex Transbots one, you know, especially since he did the cartoon color and then I'm kind of de- debating on it. Like, I, I didn't buy the skids. I bought the recolor of it because that was neat. But I was like, right. I, was like I got a better skids um, for my needs, you know. So they're getting late to the game on that stuff, um, which makes me sad. Because I generally usually really like Takara's engineering except for RC. But sorry. Rob Brandt. Do you I think you can ever... Well... Do you think you can stop buying the minor upgrade or just don't buy it until you're happy with it? Oh, man, that, that's a tricky. That. The second thing you said is a tricky line to walk because yeah. you've talked about two things in terms of toys tend to get more expensive and the idea of waiting for the better version. And so, oh. all right, if, if you waited, you could have a Galvatron without the space mud right now. Um, <laughs> But you didn't, you didn't know that a year ago. You didn't know that that was going to be coming out. And so I was like, well, this looks pretty good. And, and, hey, the whole line has space mud, so he'll fit aesthetically with the rest. And you didn't know it would be an option. Um, and so this is going to be a game that Hasbro will play with the fan base. It's like, will the fan base continue to allow us to put the football in front of them and then move it out of the way at the last minute? Or will they just wait for us to put the football back down and then kick it? Where they'll like, God right, damn it, Lucy! Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to buy the Galvatron with the funky colors. I'm going to wait and and you know what? If I have to pay 20% over premium to buy something off of eBay because they never make the one I really want, that's fine. I'd rather know that I'm going to get something that I'm pretty happy with than settle for something that they just replace a year later with with better improvements. I think you have to look at the law of averages because you know, I mean. None of us here <coughs> surge <coughs> where, you know, you buy a bunch of stuff and then you sell it all a few months later when you're bored with it. Um, and I think on average, you'll be fine. I think you would save money. And, you know, although a lot of it, I think, is just enjoyment of the hobby is is, is really where it is. Is like, would you enjoy that more? Does the constant upgrades annoy you? Then stop participating in it, knowing that every now and again – you know, like, oh, they never did another wheeljack, and now that wheeljack is really expensive, even though he has space mud. I feel like more times than not, you just it, it gets cheaper, especially the stuff that was really widely available. Usually, isn't that bad. I mean, Metroplex 
is old at this point. That was like what seven, eight years ago or something. I can't remember exactly. Thirty. You know, so it was a while back. Um, but you know, if you were like, "Hey, I'm going to hold out on Galvatron," that's like a year of a toy that was oh. pretty readily available. You know what I mean? So I can I can think of there is one figure that I'm not getting, and it, that's the new um, Soundwave that's coming out without the Spaceman. Because they did the Netflix one, and that's the version that I want. Like, it turns into the tape player. I'm not getting the one with the Spaceman. So, like, but the the vast majority of these ones is it's a slight deco upgrade, but I prefer the new one. And so that's where I'm getting them all because of that. Um, So if there was one where I was like, oh, well, it's not an upgrade for me. For example, the Soundwave, then um, I, I wouldn't get it. So, but it's it's few and far between for me, unfortunately. I feel like but most of the time you'd win. Common. What'd you say, Phil? I think it, Rob said most of the time you'd win. I, I tend to agree with that, but I also think it's becoming more and more common. If you look at in the last couple of years, you know the the all right impactor today, um, the impactor that we had from the box set that that came with the the IDW head. Um, you know, then you had, you know, the buzzworthy cliff jumper, the buzzworthy cup, uh, the studio series star screen versus earthrise star screen, um, you know, Galvatron that we just talked about. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure I'm forgetting a couple of them there, but, but we've had this so frequently that it's, it's becoming, and I'm not saying it, it's not becoming, it has become quite annoying. And I, I think and it started before that. Out. Because they started up, I really feel, with Siege. And it's, here's the mold that's almost what you wanted, except it's not. And then they redid the mold slightly or, like, you know, a little bit better on the design to what you really wanted. And they're like, you know what? We don't have to even work that much at it. We'll just do space mud paint apps. And then we'll slowly get rid of those over a few releases um, instead of putting a new tooling into it. Because we don't need to do that to drive more money out of it. Um, yeah, Siege, Siege kind of started that, but I mean, I'm a big fan of both sets of Seekers, the Earthrise Seekers and the, the Tetrajet Seekers. I'm a big fan of the, the Dotsons that, that they did in, in both versions. Ironhide, Ratchet, no, I don't need those. See, I thought Prime really like pissed those. a bunch of people off. Which Even Prime, Prime I, I, I like. I don't know. I kind of like both versions. Like, that's the thing that I have a hard time. Like, I have not been able to get rid of those just because... I kind of like one version and I uh, like the other version. So then you know. win. Yeah. So but buying Enoch's toys you it, like is a good thing. Enoch puts it well. He says like just eyeballing at transformers can't keep a lot of the figures on the shelves. There's a few shelf warming, but it looks like they're doing well and that most fans are happy. And I mean, to be honest, like, yeah, this, you go in the store and I mean, they're selling through the vast majority of, of these. So it's like, all of these things that they're putting out, like, I mean, they're they're doing a pretty good job of, of selling the toys. I, I think where I'd land at is just, if you see something come out and it just annoys you with the paint app on it, that you're probably better just snoozing on it. And wait, at least lately, a better version is likely to come out. And you know what? And, like, then you could probably even buy the old version for even cheaper because everybody's dumping it. <laughs> you know, and it's just one of those law of averages. You're going to save money doing that versus like, oh, they, you know, like, I mean, granted, Springer's went a while before it's come back out. Like that one I could have seen you being like caving on, right? Um, I have no idea what its secondary value is, but um, and then everyone's I feel like most of the time you'd green light. What was green light? I mean, I remember what it is. It's that An terrible toy. An extremely expensive, terrible toy. Oh, yeah, is it really it expensive now? Yeah, yeah, she's like $300 if you have the whole set. How much? 300 Is that for like all five of the dumb cars? No, no, no for her. Just green light. For her. Out of nowhere. She was on Amazon, on Amazon, on Amazon, on it. $300! And, 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 and Rob, I'll play devil's advocate here. Jackpot. The Jackpot is going to be really fucking expensive after it sells out on Amazon. You, we'll be having this conversation in three years when they don't make another jackpot and it's sold out and you can't get it anywhere. It'll be worth just like stupid green light. But, like but I, I've lost count. Head. I've lost count of the stuff, the amount of stuff that has done that. Like, uh, you remember that 
Platinum Edition shitty Astro Train and Blitzwing G1 recolors they did. Like mm-hmm. that's, that languished for like thirty dollars on clearance forever. Yeah. Now it's really hard to find, and it's like ninety, a hundred bucks or something if you wanted it on eBay. You well, know. I, I, yeah. I, and what I want to, what I'm saying about Jackpot is the idea of if you're not happy with the deco, oh. annoyed by the deco, just wait. Jackpot is a character that a lot of people were unhappy with, not necessarily the deco, but the QC of the head. And he, that's a dude that, um, like, you know, I think you just proved my point that if you wait, you're going to have to pay, you know, secondary market prices four or five years from now when you realize, guess what, they're not going to give me another jackpot. I mean, I think you got to use a little bit of a, you know, foresight into things. Like, there's a difference between something that was only released as an Amazon exclusive that was a remold of something else versus this was in the siege line at Walmart. You know, like th- those are pretty different stories. One of those I would gamble on. The other ones I wouldn't gamble on as much. That's fair. Where, whereas again, this impactor is an Amazon <laughs> exclusive. It re-hold. is. So. That's a, you're going to win some and you're going to lose some. And it's going to come yeah. out like at the end of the day, the impactor head is trash, but I'm happy enough with it. Like if they came out with one that just fixed the head, I'd be like, Jackpot. Granted, I'd be like, I'm good. It, you know, but if they came up with something completely different that was in a better mold or something, you know, I might change my mind or something. But the head alone isn't enough for me to not buy it. Are you, are you referring to Jackpot or, or Impactor? You jackpot. said Impactor. Okay. Did I? Sorry, I meant Jackpot. Yeah. The the topic's Impactor. We just got to throw Impactor. Remember Titan Impactor when he came out a couple of years ago? And we we're all like, whoa, Titan Impactor. I can't can't believe he came out. And then Pretender Impactor came out. And we were all happy with he, with him coming out. And then they did the, the whole line of homage to Beast Impactor. It was called King Pactor. It's good stuff. The cartoon was kind of, eh. Yeah. Yep. Rust Talking about Force Impactor was a little, a little too raunchy for me. <laughs> but, you know, they tried to really go into that adult collectible market a mm-hmm. little too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they were doing some research of some Japanese statues that just did not fit with the Transformers brand. I mean, that Megatron almost made it out, though, finally. Kiss Players Megatron. It was so <laughs> close in that line. Legion. Legion. Legion, sorry. Legion. The Megatron repaint that we also didn't get. But I will say, like, you know, talking about getting another chance at things, I don't know what the secondary market is, but, like, another Top Spin and Twin Twist, those are some – that's my favorite figures from Titan's Return and some of my favorite figures they've done in the past many years, just for my taste. Um so like you know that's again maybe they're cheap on the secondary market I don't know, um, they're not. Well, like that's a great chance to get another one unless they're just like completely different colors at which point you know get fuck nerds, but <laughs> you know they're probably I suspect G one ish, you know or Marvel U K ish or something. But they've know. they've shown there's been the teases of the Diaclone color one and so that's where it's where was it's, that? Uh, uh, on the last like... week or two, there's been leaks. Yeah. yeah. Links are pretty on point these days, so. Hey, hey, no, like, something we haven't talked no, about. Like, I think whoever, some YouTuber has, like, the, the figure from, like, whatever, the factory. Like, they have a YouTube oh, video. Oh, like Prime versus YouTuber. Prime or whatever? Something. That gets yeah. literally all the stolen stuff? Was. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this this is not a leak, like, on a list. This is, like, a, like a whole, like, you know, pictorial of, of the toy. Got it. Um, but, but, hey, real quickly, on that note, and coming back to the idea of repaints and recolors... Um. Oh yeah, eighty bucks. Uh, for those of you listening, Peter is holding up his phone to the camera. We're all enjoying it. Um. Anyways, uh, have you guys seen what they're doing with the War Rooter repaint of Waspinator, and with the toy version of Scorponok? Really them? They're going to give them they're going to give us two heads. So we're going to get alternate heads in Transformers, which is I don't recall that happening before this. The new uh, what you call it met um, Alter Magnus, right? The Diaclone Alter Magnus is getting alternate heads. Yeah. The Di- but, but in, the last, in the last three months, this is a new thing. Oh, altogether. yes, 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 yes. Yeah. 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 Where, so, so, yes, what's the more root of uh, Waspinator. Like, I mean, I know the Botcon one. What's the new one on that? It's 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 going to be a the purplish, the the black and purple. Yeah. Paint the, the, the What's horror, it released the, in? Oh, 
Is it we like is it another Amazon? Okay, we don't know. It's just another leak it's from leak. the factory. It's just another leak. Him and, okay. and the cartoon version of Scorponok have been leaked. Um, so, and but but you know, then we got the we had leaks of the cartoon colored Grimlock, and that dropped last week, kind of kind of out of the blue. Um, but but yeah, we're going to get, you know, we're getting alternate heads in our Transformers now, which is. Something that's being done for for ages in Marvel Legends and Star Wars, not so much Black Series, but um, certainly Marvel Legends has been doing it a, a ton. Um, so so this will be this will be interesting to see. Wait, you mean Beast Wars Scorponok, the new deluxe that's out? Is that what you mean with having a new head? So so the Beast Wars Scorponok. So so they have the Sandstorm version that came out. Uh, this yeah. came out in Walmart. So he has a um, he has more of a toy head sculpt, and okay. the the rise the of the beasts had the the cartoon yeah. head sculpt. No, I was just making like because when you first said it, I was like they're repainting the Titan Scorpionoc. Oh no, 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 give it no, a no, new I'm head. Sorry. I'm like, what? I was completely no, lost. No, now no. I get you. No, no, no. This, this one is getting this. a toy deco with okay. two heads. Yes, okay. or you can have either the cartoon style head. Or the uh, toy style head. That's interesting. And, and the Warruder Waspinator is going to have either the cartoon style head, which is the mutant head, or the the Beast Wars robot head. Or the or the Buzzsaw head, if if you want to yeah. break it up like that, however you want to. Yeah. Like it's coming with both, and you, the idea is you pop them off, put on whichever one you want. Yep. That's a good move. I'm. I, I like that. I like it, and I really hope that the pegs that the heads go on are all translucent. <laughs> it'll help with light piping guys I'm, I'm interested in light piping we can only hope man this isn't the gonna... DC direct Batman animated line oh, hey, they got better they did all Those of which are behind ones. Rob right now yeah that's a good chunk of them they're right there no that is really literally all ones. of it it's really all of it that, that Batman Beyond set is one that was to the moon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those guys right there are worth a few bucks these yeah. days. I mean, I bought it at retail, but yeah. There you go. Well, I guess do we have anything else we want to add here um, for the show tonight? Buy the toys you like. Don't buy the toys you don't like. Enjoy what you purchase. Sell it once you're tired of it. Keep making your best these life. characters because we like them and you'll introduce new care, new new fans to them and stuff burn these episodes onto a cd and give it to your mom for mother's day put it on eight track that's what she has okay there you go uh book club this week is going to be lost light <laughs> issues three and four uh, so check that out. That is on the tftalk.net Discord on Sunday nights at 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central. So, um, and then as far as schedule this week, I don't know. We may have something else. I have to talk to Paul to figure out if we're going to try to do a, uh, a, a microcasters or an ouch or, or something. So keep, keep we were supposed to have an oof. We were supposed to have an oof last week and Paul felt a little under the weather. Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to do potentially a microcasters. I don't know. We'll see. Um, my schedule's been crazy. I apologize to everyone that I've not been able to uh, podcast twice a week. So, Paul was and I'm a quitter. Michael Bay movie in his bathroom. Thanks for coming back, Peter. Appreciate it. Break and rule. I, can't I like how you quit on quitting. On yes. <laughs> yeah, I definitely can't say anything. It's been a hot minute. Yeah. There you go. Re the reassemble the uh, crew from two months ago, three months ago, five months ago. With our powers united, yeah. we can bitch about toys. Yeah. Woo! So, I am making I, a difference. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks again, Phil, for uh, filling in while I was had, have been off. Filling so. in? There you go. I, I hear so. what you did there. Uh, but thank you also to everyone in the chat tonight uh, for participating. Thanks to Zaldron, Ron. Thanks to Catherine. Thanks to Jay Zachary. Thanks to um, get through Daniel, Josh Griffin, Enots. Josh Griffin, Enots. Who else we got? I think that's 
Destron Piotr. Yeah, some some Destron guy. Destron Pooter. So peace mode. But anyway, thanks guys. Appreciate it. And we will see you next week. Bye everybody.